A Gifford County woman used to make soup and bread at her home. She sold it to her neighbors and the demand got so high that her stove could no longer take it and broke. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's the moment Caitlin Ryan recognized people's need for a good meal. She opened Little Light Bread and Soup Company in Greensboro. As Tess Bargeber explains in today's Small Business Spotlight, the place is personal to Caitlin and all about hope. Cooking is something Caitlin Ryan loves to do, whether she's creating a new dish or just making bread. We do everything from scratch, uh, mostly Italian food, but we have kind of standard lunch staples and, and brunch as well. At Little Light Bread and Soup Company, the menu has prices, but you have the option to pay what you can. Everyone deserves a, a hot meal, a nutritious meal, a cost-effective meal, and everyone deserves a nice place to sit and eat. Caitlin built her business on the truths and principles she learned while recovering from addiction. The moral of the story for me is like, it, as someone in recovery, it is my duty and my privilege to give back as frequently and as generously as I possibly can. Because other people did that for me, and that's how I stayed alive and got here. Choosing this space on Yanceyville Street to open a restaurant turned out to be a good fit for the community. There are people here um, who are kind of our shopping center occupants and um, the people who hang out here and, uh, and some of the people who live around here do have a need. The need is why Lexi left her home kitchen to cook in this one. We were noticing that a lot of our friends and neighbors were having trouble feeding themselves. When you dine here, you have a chance to pay it forward. There's always the option to give a little bit more than your meal costs and we put, uh, we have like a, a jar and little paper stars and for every meal that is bought for someone else, we put a star in the jar and when someone comes in and needs a meal, we t pick, take one out. Since May, this space, which was originally envisioned for takeout orders only, it's been up and down, but it's been good. Has plenty of people walking in just in time for their new fall menu. Moving into uh, more root vegetables and butternut squash and sweet potatoes and stuff. So we have uh, fresh gnocchi with a mushroom gorgonzola sauce. We have. Um, like our our real signature dish for the fall is like a steak um, hot and cold salad with um, mashed butternut squash and roasted Brussels sprouts. In Greensboro, Tess Bargeber, Fox 8 News.